turn the experience around. Hey guys, so I want to do a quick video on um, changing the experience around, right? And so um, I know a lot of people um, may want to call it like gaslighting or, um, you know, they're talking about how um, people are wanting to place blame, right? So um, it's really interesting on how that is uh, taking form in this moment um, where people are calling it like gaslighting or somebody is, oh, I forget the term that they're using now. Um, but it's the whole rage right now. However, um, we do have um, where situations are, we have a part in it, right? So it's not always the other person's part. And so if we're blaming another person who's blaming us, then we're just doing the same thing, right? So um, if, if you're blaming somebody else and they're blaming you or wanting to put it on you, it, it's not that that's wrong in doing that because we do want to turn the situation on ourselves, right? Because what is my part and role in it, right? Um, my part and role in it is going to be what I need to do about the situation, right? And that's not blame other people. Um, and so neither should that be there. Each person should take their own part in it because it takes more than one person to create a situation that neither of us are wanting. So it's not just one person, right? We, each person has their own role and each person has agreed to a certain role uh, in, in the play, right? For instance, if you and your mates, you know, um, it's always wanting, you know, who's the bad guy here, right? But um, what is our part and role in it? And the other part of, on that, um, when we turn the situation on ourselves, we're, we're looking within ourselves, right? And so because a lot of, we're, we are a mirror of reflection to what we're related to, right, in the experience. So we're attracting certain situations to ourselves. So when we turn the situation on ourselves, what is my part and role in this? Not blaming another person. We're wait, allowing ourselves to detach and turn away from that situation, right? Um, instead of blaming or attaching uh, or uh, judging another person, right? We're turning it around ourselves, not to say that we're the bad person or the good person in any situation, because there isn't any. It's just the situation's experience that's happening um, that's been created for whatever reason to have your experience and get out of it what you need to, to get out of it. Um, because you can't have an experience if you don't have another person to play out the role, right? So that's creation. Because how am I going to have an argument <laughs> if there's nobody here for me to argument with, right? If there's nobody to have a conversation with, who am I going to have a conversation with, right? There's always two or more people involved in a situation, right? But we want to turn it into something more than that because of the experience. We only look at the experience. We don't look what's within the experience. So when we have an experience with something that we don't want, um, you know, turn that on yourself, right? Look within yourself. Ask yourself, what is my role in this? Where am I? What am I doing? How am I receiving? How am I interpreting this? How am I responding and acting to this to create more of this instead of how can I act to change this? Because every moment is a new moment in time that we get to change a situation, a scenario, an outcome by the way we respond to it. It's an opportunity to change. And we have many, many, many opportunities within a lifetime to do this, right? Which is another video I was going to do on because every time an opportunity presents itself, it's an opportunity for change, right? And so that's how we change our lives. It's just being aware and conscious about it. But we can't do that if we're blaming other people because we're putting the blame on others. We're putting the responsibility in their hands instead of our own. And that's giving your power away. It's not taking your power back or having it here. Because when you give your power away, you can't do nothing about it. You become a victim. When you're a victim, you are not... You don't have the ability to do anything, right? So when you are blaming another person, you are being a victim. So if you are turning it around on yourself, you're putting the power back in your own hands, and then you can make the decision to make change or respond differently or to walk away or to do something else 
Otherwise, when you're blaming, you're attaching, and you're making it about somebody else, you're putting the power in their hands to be over you uh, in the situation versus having your own power to do what you want, your choice, your change, your presence in the moment. So if that makes help or sense for anybody, definitely you know use that to your advantage and try not to be in the space where you're giving blame to other people because when you do that, you're giving your power away. Um, when we turn it on ourselves, we're bringing the power back to ourselves so we can look at it from a different perspective, a higher perspective in the moment, and we get knowledge and gain uh, wisdom from that. And then we can make change and say, you know what, I don't want this, goodbye. You know, um, So you know, there's a lot to be said about whether <laughs> we're blaming other people or we're turning the situation on ourselves. And it's not about people you know, gaslighting or, you know, things like that. It's the bottom line about giving our power away. So definitely bring that back to ourselves. And um, if you have any questions or um, want to book a session, coaching, anything like that, um, you know, definitely reach out to me and we'll be able to book a session. All right. Happy journeys.